Another exciting deep space probe managed by Pasadena's Jet Propulsion Laboratory is about to reach an important milestone. The robotic spacecraft Juno is zeroing in on attaining a polar orbit around the giant mysterious planet of Jupiter. JPL provided KPAS with a behind-the-scenes briefing on June 9, 2016 as the Juno spacecraft was about 11.1 million miles and 25 days from the critical orbit insertion maneuver. Five, four, three, two, one. Ignition and liftoff of the Atlas V with Juno on a trek to Jupiter, a planetary piece of the puzzle on the beginning of our solar system. Mach 1. Okay, so right now we're here in the clean room at JPL and we're showing the things that we have that are related to Juno. Obviously, Juno itself is almost to Jupiter. Juno's going to Jupiter. It's almost there, uh, less than a month away, and we'll go into a polar orbit, which lets it look closely at the, you know, the top, the North Pole of Jupiter, the South Pole of Jupiter, but also very close to the planet, and use its various instruments around the edge of the spacecraft and the antenna and so on to look inside of Jupiter, as well as measure the magnetosphere around it and the atmosphere and the rest of the environment of Jupiter that we know something about right now, but not a lot. So it'll add to our knowledge of Jupiter in a big way. We have this huge uh, qualification wing for the solar arrays that was used to verify that the solar arrays are gonna behave the way we want them to mechanically. And there's one pa panel of it that was used to verify that the solar arrays behave properly electrically. We have a model of the vault that was used to validate the, the interior of the vault, and a, a model to show you what the outside looks like. We have a prototype of one of the antennas that's on board the spacecraft. We have a model of the Juno spacecraft itself. Uh, these are the giant solar arrays. Uh, you can see the size of it behind you. They're about eight and a half meters long a piece, so this is really large spacecraft. Um, it, it would you know, barely fit in here if you opened it all up. That's the view that you'd get on July 4th at 527 at night. This application is called Eyes on Juno. It's a part of Eyes on the Solar System. And what it allows you to do is to virtually travel along with our spacecraft while it's going through its mission. So the Juno Cam team is very much hoping that the public will engage directly with us via the missionjuno.com website. People can pick out targets on Jupiter's very dynamic cloud tops and say, this little blue swirl over here, I think this would be interested, interesting to take a picture of. So we're hoping there will be lots of interest in the public directly creating science targets on Jupiter. No other spacecraft has gone to this tight polar, polar orbit that we will be going into. So we're excited about, about to be there for a year and a half to two years and uh, we'll hope for the best at uh, Jupiter orbit insertion in less than a month.